Today I'm going to be showing you guys five music video hacks that will save you so much time while editing. I use these hacks on every single music video I edit and honestly it cuts down my editing time by so much. But before we hop into this, I have to shout out my editing packs. If you guys are looking to grab some fire, drag and drop, easy to use editing packs, go check out my website, tinytapes.ca. We have a huge selection over there and every single sale on there supports the channel and helps me upload every single day. Anyways, let's hop right into this. So opened up in the timeline here, we have this Xavier So Based music video I've been working on. It's out now, but I was working on it for a while. But moving on to hack number one is moving around the timeline. Now, I see a lot of people clicking and dragging their mouse on here, or clicking and dragging their mouse on here to move around their timeline. Now, if you're on Mac or Windows, this works either way. If you're on Mac, if you hold Option and scroll with your mouse, you could zoom into your timeline and wherever your mouse is, it'll zoom into there. Or it's also Alt on Windows as well. So just moving your mouse, it'll zoom into there. It's super handy. And then Command on Mac or Control on Windows, scrolling up and down will allow you to move up and down. The amount of time that this saves me by learning how to do this and working it into my workflow has been amazing. And then just scrolling without clicking any button moves you up and down in your timeline. So once again, Option is scrolling in, Command is scrolling up and down, and then just scrolling moves you back and forth. And that honestly just saves me so much time. Rewatch that part if you get a little bit confused, but trust me, you need to learn this and implement it into your workflow. Next, we're going to be moving on to a really easy way to copy and paste certain settings from video clips onto another. So let's say, for example, we have this video clip right here and we're going to go ahead and click on it, go into effects and let's just put like a blur on it. Let's go and put Gaussian blur on it and we'll turn Gaussian blur up to like, what is this like 89, right? So let's say you want to put this Gaussian blur on this clip right here. What a lot of people would do is they would just come over here, click on Gaussian blur, press command C click on your clip, click here and press command V. That does work, but it's really annoying if you want to put it onto bulk clips and I have a way that's way less time. So let's say you want to take what's on this clip. All you have to do is press command C on the clip, go to the clip you want to paste it on. Let's say we want to paste it on these three clips here. I'm just holding shift and clicking on them. So all of them are selected and then press option command V, which is alt control V. And then this option, this tab will pop up here and you want to select what you want to copy. So let's say we just want the Gaussian blur or if you also want the motion to be copied over, you can hit that and then you can hit OK on your computer. But I end up just hitting enter to make it happen really fast. And now all these clips here have Gaussian blur on them, as you guys could see here. I use that probably over 250 times on every single music video I edit and it works out so well. Moving on to the very next tip here, if we scroll up in our timeline, you guys could see I have a ton of adjustment layers. And if you're wondering what are they doing? They're actually the color grade for this video. So what I end up doing, I explained this in my last tutorial, is I put the color grade for my videos on these adjustment layers, and then I color the clips individually down here. This clip didn't need too much coloring, but for example, this one here, the highlights could come up, and I don't really think I did too much color on this video here as well, but highly recommend putting your color grades on adjustment layers here. And you guys could see as well on two different adjustment layers stacked here with different intensities. If we open up the creative here, so we have 50% on this one, and this one's at 100%. So you can also stack LUTs as well. That's something that's really helped me get some really unique color grades on my videos. Now, moving on to the next one here, guys, we're going to be talking about how I can turn clips on and off by just hitting E on my keyboard. It's usually preset to shift E, but that's just kind of annoying. I use this a lot, especially when I'm cutting a music video. I'm just hitting E to turn clips on and off. You can change this by going up here, clicking on keyboard shortcuts. It'll be up under edit on Windows. And then we want to go to the search bar here and search enable. And then where it says enable, this will say E or shift E. You just want to hit X on that and then click on it again and then just hit E and then hit OK. Then you guys will have it applied. Mixing that in with like the movement that I have down here of like going into a music video, uh, moving stuff around. It just works really well, especially for my color grading process and my editing process and checking certain clips out. Like, let's say, for example, I want to see what this clip down here looks like instead of the one I have in there. It doesn't work. Let's say, for example, I want to see what this clip down here looks like instead of the one I have up here. You just hit E to turn this one off. Let's say we want this one instead. No, we want this one. You could just go through and see a ton of clips and see how they look really fast. Moving on to the very last one, guys, it's for synchronizing your music videos with the audio. If you already know how to auto sync, then trust me, you're good. But for you guys that don't know how to auto sync or do it the proper way, let me put you guys on here. So we're basically going to be dragging our performance scenes into our project just like this. As you guys can see here, we're only going to do it with like four, for example. Then we'll go into our project and we'll drag our song in here. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have V1 and A1, at least one of them on here. If you don't have any of these on, it's not going to work properly. Like you can see here, if I highlight it, the synchronize is grayed out. But if we have at least one or two of these on, 
you guys can see the synchronize is on just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and hit synchronize and you wanna make sure you have audio selected and then track channel mix down selected. We're then gonna hit okay and you guys can see it's processing all the audio and boom, it automatically syncs all of the audio to match this right here. So what we can do now is just highlight all these by holding shift and highlighting them and then going over and unlinking them and then we can delete them and then everything will be mixed up. All the bitches start screaming when they see me. Everything's automatically synced up. Just like that. So those are five music video editing hacks that I recommend that you implement into your workflow. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. We only have a couple more days left of daily uploading, but don't worry, I'm not going to be going anywhere. I'm going to be uploading probably around three to four times a week after the daily upload streak. If you guys want to go check out anything on my store, it'll be linked below. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.